So yesterday I got to go to this great event put on by the Business Marketing Association of Milwaukee, BMA, uh, the lightning round speed interview and resume review. Um, I loved it. Time well spent. Got a lot out of it. So thank you, BMA. Um, three great components to the whole event. Uh, not only did you have the speed interviewing and the resume review, but there was also an awesome presentation by a couple individuals about positioning yourself for online success using social media, the internet in general. Um, topics conversation included LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, um, using resources like Weebly to create your own personal website. But when it came down to it is, you know, you really need to be active online, you know, creating content, whether it's, you know, just interacting with other people using Twitter and Facebook or, you know, creating blogs and vlogs and whatever other kind of content you can think of. I mean, putting, getting your name out, giving people a reason to find you, this is really the only way you can get the internet to work for yourself. Uh, of course, Anthony, one of the presenters, um, of course, he says it better than I can. I'm Anthony Pywarn. I'm a search strategist. Um, if I'd have one piece of advice to, you know, rank and search and get yourself out there, it's to create content. Content is king. It's social. It's king. It's search. It's going to be king in 2011. You just got to get yourself out there. I really appreciate it, Anthony's insight. I mean, it's more than valuable. So thanks again, Anthony, for taking the time to step aside with me. Um, Another individual I got to talk to was Stuart. Stuart took a look at my resume, you know, he gave me a couple tips about, you know, prioritizing where things are, you know, putting the most important things, the things I really want to stand out with, with and the things I want to be known for towards the top, you know, not just my objective, what I'm trying to accomplish, but, you know, work experience, you know, you know, I did this job, but this job is really what I want to be known for kind of a thing. Um, he also, you know, gave me a couple ideas on how I can make those uh, bullet points really stand out, not just say, oh, you know, I had this internship, we did this, whatever, but really, you know, I had this internship, we did this campaign, and we got this many sales because of it. Uh, specifics, you know, numbers, f actual facts that really make it stand out, not just make another check mark, really answer the question of, so what for the employers? You know, I noticed some of the key things that you want to be um, known for and want to be recognized for in your resume. And I noticed that you have those toward the bottom, so my recommendation to you is to move those up. Uh, those are the key things you want people to take away from you. I'd also look at some of your bullets that you have on here. You have a lot of good things that you've done, but I don't see any results tied to those bullets. So as you look at developing things, but what did it lead to? So it led to an X percent in sales increase over previous year. What was the main result of what you did? Those are some of the key things that you need to uh, to work on on your resume and um, to better sell PR. Thanks again, Stuart. Thanks again, Anthony, BMA. Really enjoyed myself. Uh, time well spent. I'm going to have to go to more BMA events. So thanks so much. And uh, until next time, I'm Brendan. Have a good one.